Okay, in this video we're checking out the Top Sky Prime 2 FPV goggles. This is a budget goggle. It's about $80 at the time of the recording of this video. This is the second generation of the Prime 1S, I guess the Prime series of these goggles from Top Sky. I did a review on the first generation, which was the white one. Um, it was a couple, few months back. I, mean, it was, I don't remember exactly. Now, unfortunately, I don't have any of those any, uh, any, uh, available anymore to show you in comparison in the video itself. So, uh, refer you back to the old video, put a card in the corner and a link down in the description to that video if you want to see details on that one. This is largely the same. I'll, I'll explain the improvements they've made. Um, the reason I don't have that one anymore is I gave them all away. Um, and giveaways, so that's why I don't have that anymore. And uh, the things that they fixed, I think there were a lot of complaints on the first one. Um, for example, it was supposed to be dual receiver, but I think one of the receivers wasn't working correctly, so it was really only getting reception on one receiver. So reception wasn't all that great. It seemed they seemed to have fixed that in this version. Both receivers seem to be working. Reception seems to be pretty decent. It's not too bad. The Screen resolution in their specs um, seems to be different from the version one or the first generation, but to me the screens seem to be about the same resolution as the first gen, from what I remember. Then, of course, you know the numbers on the first gen specs seem to be off anyway. Um, so yeah, you know you can go to the product page and look at the specs and everything, but uh, sometimes you can't always believe everything you see in the product specs. So to me, it seems like the screens are pretty much the same resolution. It's a pretty low resolution screen. There's two of them in here. And I'll show you here. I'll turn this on. I'll show you the screens in a second. But my right screen has a, a defect in the screen where there's a, there's a line in it. I'll show you that as well. Another thing that's different is the face padding, which is a lot nicer than the first version. It's on this... Um, like the velcro here so and actually the velcro part is kind of coming off already but you can see that it's it does hold on via the velcro like this so you could change this out later if it gets dirty or damaged and it is fairly comfortable the dimensions and weight and everything is the same as the first gen so i have the same problem here where uh, this little angle is a little bit too much for me so it does dig into the side of my head over here but not a whole lot of light leakage a little bit in the nose area here I think it's a little bit bigger than the first gen I don't remember exactly um, IPD's adjustment works the same as before and also unfortunately the diopters work the same as before as in they don't actually seem to do anything so yeah, these diopter adjustments are here, but it doesn't seem to make much of a difference in terms of focusing. Um, everything else seems to be the same. I think it's the same size battery as well. USB charging. You can turn the receiver on and off. It's got AVN. All that stuff is the same as before. Um, DVR built in. Now, one thing about the DVR that I wasn't... Actually, I don't remember. It does record in, I think, a slightly higher bitrate and in... 720p resolution instead of 6 uh, 4 I'm sorry 640 by 480 VGA so it does look a little bit nicer in terms of the recordings and of course I'll show you some more of these recordings here at the end of the video all of the uh, functions and buttons and everything they all work the same as before so yeah just go look at the old, old video and you'll see um, how that all functions feels fine on the face I think for $80 not too bad as a budget goggle, assuming that you can focus on the screens and it fits your face without hurting her face. Um, reception's not too bad, um, but yeah, keep in mind this is a budget goggle. It does come with the battery, and um, yeah, it's pretty much ready to go. There's nothing else you have to buy. These I did test the reception with the antennas that were included, the whip antennas, but of course you can always upgrade the antennas. But if you're on a budget, you know, $80, is all you got and this is what you can afford then yeah you probably aren't going to be upgrading because you probably won't need it for most places like you're going to fly pretty close and stuff you can only need that if you're going to fly really far away now i always tell people about you know if you're looking at budget goggles if you can only afford this much amount of goggles of course you know that's all you can afford but 
I would say if you can afford more, spend the most amount of money that you can on the goggles because it's an investment. You're going to be using it for a long time, uh, for as long as you're going to be flying quads in the hobby. So um, yeah, keep that in mind that you know it's it's okay for the price, but you know again quality uh, QC issues here with the screen, which I, sh I should just go ahead and show you that that is a concern. So we'll go ahead and power this up and. Same procedure, hold the button down, it should turn on to get a beep. Uh, power up a drone here. Okay, so here's a look at the screen. And you can see it's pretty decent. Um, I mean, it's not the super sharpest screen and actually it doesn't really come out too well in the camera it looks actually uh i don't know what the right word is smoother um clearer in the camera than it does when you actually look at it when you actually get the screen right to your eyes it does look more pixelated than this and it's it's really hard to it's really hard to it doesn't really translate too well in the camera here but yeah, this just give you an idea of what the screen looks like it looks largely the same to me as it did before. Now here's the screen on the right side and you see it's a different screen, it's not the same screen because this one has a defect in it. It has that white line there and that is not a, that's not from the camera, that is actually the screen and it is um, got some kind of a problem there. And it's, um, I, don't know, I don't know what would cause that, if it's a problem with the screen itself or the electronics powering the screen but yeah that's definitely a defect and that hasn't that hasn't gone away that's been there since I uh, first got the goggles so yeah so that is a issue with QC I'm not sure why uh, that past um, QC they should have turned it on and they would have clearly seen that problem and not had not shipped this out so again I think this is a testament to Top Sky's um, uh, quality controls and of course they're probably just doing that because uh, it's just a, a cost-cutting measure because they, they're, they're selling these goggles for so little they probably aren't even doing any QCL. They're just assembling it, putting it into a box, and shipping it out to customers. So that's yeah, basically you know, all the issues, some of the things that they fixed. Um, I think it's definitely better than the first gen because obviously the receiver is better. You got uh, better foam here. I think the DVR is a little bit better. Screen's about the same. I mean, it, it's 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 flyable. I was able to fly with these, and for eighty dollars, you know, it's not terrible. But I, as I said, if you can afford to spend more money, um, you know, if you can get up into the three hundred dollar range, there's a lot of better options out there. But of course, if you can't, then yeah, this is not terrible. It is usable, but yeah, it's not my first choice in terms of goggles because of the um, low quality and also uh, QC issues, uh, defect issues, that kind of stuff. Anyway, that's going to do it for this video. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.